<clears throat> Everyone, Mike Stokes here with Lush Planet Design Build, and today I want to make a video about this denim insulation that we put into this guest house that we're building. Um, so first off, let's just talk a little bit about the product that we purchased. We purchased this product from Home Depot, this Ultra Touch denim insulation. This is the R13 that we used for the 2x4 walls. We also got an R21 for the um, ceiling cavity. The ceiling cavity is, so the, the R21 is a 2x6 filling cavity insulation and these are 2x8s because there's a vent gap above that. So, so anyways, back to this product. So I got this product from Home Depot. Uh, they would only sell it online in uh, bundles of 12 of these, and they wouldn't return this. So, anyways, I have a bunch of extra, so I don't know if I would use this again, and I probably wouldn't go through Home Depot. Uh, this product, for me, it seemed a little less dense than some of the other denim that I'd used in the past, and it's also super, it's really dusty, so you have to wear a dust mask. I'm not wearing a dust mask right now because I'm making a video and we've got good airflow through here. Um, and then, so that's the product. It's, it's a little dusty, it's a little thinner than I would like. Um, but in general, it's a pretty good product. Super stoked that it's 80% uh, recycled content and denim. The other thing that's great is it's, you know, doesn't itch like the fiberglass insulation. Um, you definitely, if you're working overhead, got to wear goggles and you always got to wear a dust mask because it definitely does kick off a lot of dust. So just a little bit about basic insulation. The, a lot of people I find miss this idea. So a lot of people will do this where the cavity has these big push-ins at the end and that you, right in here you get basically zero R value. So we always go around and fluff up all the edges. It's even better if the insulation is sticking out a little bit and then the sheetrock will hold it really nice and fluffy all the way around. And we try to cut around all of our openings so that there's as little as air, little airflow as possible around that. So um, if you look up, you'll see where our R21 denim insulation is. We ran this product, this netting product here, Again, um, this is, uh, I don't even know if they sell this at Home Depot. In, in our local area, we bought it at a local place called Freedman's in Sonoma County. Um, so it's really pretty much a pain in the ass to work with. And I'm going to go grab this pneumatic staple gun to show you what we use. So the cameraman owns this nice Bostitch pneumatic stapler, which made stapling this stuff up a lot easier. Uh, but you can use a regular staple, obviously, as well. So I don't know if you can see it, but there, the netting's going all the way across. It's basically three, whatever that is, four, inch, four feet wide. This whole ceiling run is a couple of runs of netting. Uh, and before we put the netting up, the insulation kind of stayed in place, but it was, again, it had, it had big gaps. So we had to put the netting in in order to fluff it down so that it was full, filling the whole cavity, side to side, top to bottom, front to back. Uh, when we did it, we put the denim in first and then put the netting on afterwards. That seemed to be the best way to do it. Uh, you have to have your cavities just right or that denim insulation is going to fall out. Uh, so that would be something I would be really careful about if I was using denim insulation on a ceiling, making sure you have your cavities perfect so that when you stick it up, it sticks in there a little bit and then you put the netting over it. So that's it. Just a short video about our denim insulation on this guest house that we're building. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comments page and subscribe to the channel if you like the uh, video or the content we present and have a great day.